transfer of thermal energy. What is it? Heat transfer is the movement of heat from a place with a higher temperature to a place with a lower temperature. There are three types of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. Here are two examples of heat conduction. First one, ringing from a metal spoon that was sitting in a bowl of hot soup. The soup loses some of its heat by transferring it to the spoon, which in turn gains temperature and conducts heat to the boy's finger, burning it. However, the boy easily solves this problem by switching his metal spoon into a spoon made out of wood. I thought this was a very good example of thermal conduction, mainly because it's something which happens in our everyday life, making the whole process of heat transfer easier to understand. Also, because it demonstrates that some materials are better conductors than others. A metal spoon, for example, will conduct heat much faster than a wooden spoon. This is mainly due to the structure of their molecules. Metals have three electrons. The second example is placing a shirt on an ironing board to be ironed. The iron loses some of its heat by conducting it to the shirt, which in turn gains some temperature. This makes it easier to iron all out all those unattractive wrinkles. However, the shirt also loses some of its heat by conducting a small part of it to the iron board, increasing its temperature until thermal equilibrium is reached. I chose this method of heat transfer mainly because in it you can find not one, but two examples of heat conduction, from the iron to the shirt and from the shirt to the iron board. Also, because it shows that by understanding the process of heat conduction, humans have developed very useful inventions, such as the iron or the thermometer. Examples of heat convection A hot air balloon A burner at the base of the balloon warms the air inside. As the air warms up, it moves upwards, cools, and moves round in a circular pattern known as a convection current. When the balloon is full of hot air, it lifts up the ground because the hot air inside is less dense and lighter than the cold air outside it. The second example are sea breezes. During the day, sunlight warms the land through radiation more quickly than the sea. Because hot air is lighter than cool air, warm air over the land rises creating a lower pressure at the earth's surface and a higher pressure at the altitude where the air is lifted to. Due to the difference in pressure, this hot air will move out to the sea, where it will cool down and sink. Air from over the sea, which is now at a higher pressure, will move into the low pressure area over land, creating a circular current as the air over the sea subsides and warm air from over land moves in to take its place. This is why, at ground level, sea breezes blow from sea to land during the day, at night, on the contrary, the land cools more quickly than the sea. Because of this, the convection current reverses as warm air rises from the sea and the breezes blow from land to sea. Examples of heat radiation Lying on the sand to get a tan The sun loses some of its heat radiating it through electromagnetic waves to the earth and to the girl's skin, which in turn gains some temperature. As a result, the girl gets tanned. However, these are bad news because our skin gets darker just to protect us from the ultraviolet radiation, one of the three types of rays that the sun emits. Our body tries to do this, protect us, by releasing a pigment called melanin that reduces UV penetration into our cells. I found this method occurring because it does not only show an example of radiation, it also creates conscience on us to take care of our body and protect it from harmful rays. I also chose this because it shows that radiation occurs in a vacuum too. We should remember that the sun's heat reaches the earth through space, which is a vacuum. Second example, placing your hand over a bonfire to get warm. It isn't just the sun which radiates heat in all directions, so does an ordinary fire. When you place the palm of your hand over fire, you can feel the heat without touching the flame. This is because the fire loses some of its heat by radiating it to your hand, which gains some temperature through electromagnetic waves. I chose this method of heat transfer mainly because it is simple and easy to understand. Also because it shows that sun is not the only source which can radiate heat. Three.
created using Powtoon.